This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from opentuition.com. So let's go through and build upon the knowledge from our introduction to lessor accounting by having a look first of all at an example that covers the accounting for the lessor when we have an operating lease. Now, remember, if we have an operating lease, that is any lease that is not a finance lease. And therefore, for it to be that operating lease, we still have the risks and rewards. They have not been transferred to the lessee. You know, the lessor still has the risks and rewards of ownership. OK, so if that's the case, the accounting treatment, pretty straightforward, uh, is we go through there and recognise the income through profit or loss on a straight line basis. And then the depreciation continues over the assets useful life as normal. OK, uh, so, so nothing to it. Uh, so what we've got there, it says within the question, uh, explain how banana uh, would account for the lease in the financial statement. So again, our focus is going to be on the SFP and profit or loss. And it says the banana leases out a machine to Mango under a four year operating lease. So it specifically says it is an operating lease in the question. Uh, in a longer narrative style question, you might have to identify with additional information that it is an operating lease. OK, here for now, I'm just concerned with the accounting treatment. Uh, the terms of the lease so that there are annual lease rentals of two thousand dollars payable in arrears. So we have four years. Uh, $2,000 in the payments. And then as an incentive, Banana, the lessor, grants Mango a rent-free period in the first year. Okay. So what you've got there is you need to go through and look at the rental income per annum. Uh, so just be careful. There are three payments. of $2,000 because in the first year there is a rent free period and then we spread that over the four years don't we okay so if that's the case uh, you may be familiar with these numbers from earlier examples and what you might see is it's just the reverse accounting treatment from when we had a low value or a short lease asset okay when we're looking at it from the lessee's perspective uh, so three times two is Yep, six divided by four is 1.5, so $1,500 per annum. Again, that goes to the statement of profit or loss, so that is there for your income, isn't it? Okay, just be careful from the lessor's perspective. We're looking at things now with regards to income, okay? Uh, if you want the debits and the credits, uh, if we go through that and look at it, for year one, okay. Uh, the first year we've leased the asset out rent free, so we don't have any cash, so that gives us a bit of an issue with the debit. But for the credit, we credit our rental income, and that rental income is 1500, okay. Uh, so what are we going to go through there? And debit, okay. Uh, well, what we've got there effectively is we have gone through that and accrued that income, haven't we? So we've got accrued income, or if you like, make it easier and other receivable, okay? Because uh, you are owed that money, aren't we? And we're going to receive that money over the final three years of the lease when we recognize income of 1500 but the cash that we receive is 2000 isn't it okay so what we've got that is in year is it two to four what will happen each year there is we are going to go through each year and receive 2000 from the bank so debit the bank $2,000. I will credit my rental income with 1500 
and then what we do each year is we credit our accrued income with 500 and what that does that credit will reduce the accrued income okay uh, if you want to see that in the financial statements what you could do is there is it for years one two three and four uh, you've got there is it on the SFP you've got is it your accrued income on the statement of profit or loss we have our rental income don't we okay so the rental income was nice and straightforward that was just 1500 for each of the four years wasn't it we've spread that total was it six thousand over the four year period okay and the key bit there isn't it is that in year one we didn't receive cash did we but we used the accruals principle uh, the fact there that we have leased out the asset we are due money from leasing out the asset and therefore we have recognized the income okay uh, then on the accrued income this is what happened wasn't it in year one uh, we started out with was it the 1500 in year two that will then decrease to a thousand year three that's 500 and then there finally in year four you should find that that has come down to zero okay there we go excellent uh again I suppose that's about as complicated as it would get uh in terms of the numbers practice the questions in the revision kit uh practice any questions that you have within the study text if you've chosen a tuition provider um, and away you go okay i'll see you in the next videos when we start to look at the more technically difficult finance leases okay see you then